This video caught something that those of us on land don't get to see very often. We showed you this yesterday as a team of researchers approached a North Atlantic right whale calf to collect a DNA sample. And this, by the way, was just off the coast of Flagler Beach. This is the time of year that the endangered species migrates to Northeast Florida waters to give birth. Jessica Clark shows us why that DNA sample is so important for mother, calf and species. Off Flagler Beach Wednesday, a mother right whale and her new calf splashed in the waves. My phone rang with the report. So Jim Hain, the senior scientist for the Marine Land Right Whale Project, cranked up his telephone chain, calling the state and his team of volunteers. Okay, we have whales. We need a drone. We need to com communicate with the boat. We need to get photographs. Volunteers took to the beach. By phone, they directed the Florida Fish and Wildlife team on a boat to the mother and baby. The goal was for the boat to get close enough to the calf to get a DNA sample from it. And the captain's job is tricky. Also very careful. She's had a lot of experience with approaching whales in a benign manner, which, which is quite a skill. An archer on the boat collects the DNA using a modified arrow. And the tip of that altered arrow pulls out a little bit of blubber and skin from the animal. It's about the size of an eraser on a pencil. And biologists tell me it really doesn't hurt the animal. The state team has a special permit to get so close. Typically, you have to stay 500 yards away. And the mama whale doesn't put up a fuss with you all getting too close? Well, if you, it, it would, and if you weren't being careful, she would be putting up quite a fuss because the mother is very protective, as you can imagine. The DNA is used to help identify the calf. You know, we need to learn about the life history of the animal and where they're going and what their health is. Knowing more about these animals helps in the conservation of them. North Atlantic right whales are on the edge of extinction with about 400 left. And it turns out this mother whale is named Chimania. She was first seen as a calf on the Florida calving grounds. That was 13 years ago. And this is her first calf. Her first, she's a mama now. That's right. You know, you just cross your fingers and hope for the very, very, very best. Oh, the hope a child brings for a diminishing breed. In Flagler Beach, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.